Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an EC2 instance in AWS Cloud using Ansible Playbook. If you look at this diagram, the way we are going to achieve this is using this Ansible where I have installed on my EC2 instance, we are going to create uh, something called Playbook. Using that Playbook, you know, we should be able to uh, create EC2 instance. How are we going to access AWS Cloud? Um, the way Ansible is going to access AWS Cloud is, you know, using this IAM role. Okay, so this IAM role is going to have a policy called Amazon EC2 full access, right? Okay, so that IAM role is going to have this policy attached and then we are going to attach that IAM role to this EC2 instance, right? So we are completely avoiding using access keys and secret keys, which is not a recommended option because you are already hosting the EC2 instance in AWS Cloud, right? So you are already in AWS Cloud. You don't need to, uh, you know, use access keys and secret keys in order to access AWS services. Using the IAM role is more, uh, you know, a secured option. Okay, awesome. So let's get started. So yes, this is the prerequisite, right? So we have already installed Ansible. So that is actually nothing but this EC2 instance. I have already installed Ansible, you know, on this EC2 instance. So if you want to know how to install Ansible, if you click on this link, so this is the link, right? Uh, you know, so this link talks about how to install Ansible on your EC2 instance. If you see here, we also need to install something called Boto framework. So Boto framework is nothing but uh, uh, it's a Python, Python based SDK, right? So if you want to access uh, AWS services using Python, so you should use uh, a Boto framework, okay? Uh, because Ansible is written in uh, Python language, right? So this is completely, uh, you know, Python based. So we need to install Boto framework and then we would be using the latest version of uh, Boto, which is Boto 3, okay? And I also have video as well. So if you want to, uh, you know, learn how to install Ansible, so you can also go through this video as well. Okay, fantastic. Awesome. So, so that is the prerequisite, and I have, and I'm already connected to my EC2 instance here. You see here. So this is the Ansible version, and then if you see here, this is the command which is going to list, uh, you know, all the Boto frameworks, right? And then we are going to leverage Boto three. Perfect. Okay. And then we also need to create this IAM role. Okay. And then we have to attach this policy. So let me quickly do that. So let's go to IAM. Go to roles and create role. EC2 permissions. And then we need to create Amazon EC2 full access policy, right? So we have to attach this policy. Okay, and then I'm going to say my IAM role. Uh, uh, let's call this my Ansible IAM role. Okay, perfect. See here, this is the policy we need. Create role. Perfect. So our role has been created. Now we can go to EC2. Let's attach that role to our EC2 instance. Go here, go here, security, modify. So we have to select my, this one, my Ansible IAM role. Okay, save, perfect. So if you see here, yeah, so this is the role we have already attached to it. So that, you know, this EC2 instance can access AWS services and it can, you know, create EC2 instance. Perfect. Awesome, so let's get started. So the way we are going to achieve that is by creating a playbook, okay? But before that, we need to do a couple of things. So let me log it into my EC2 instance. You see here, this is the EC2 instance where we have installed Ansible. Uh, let's, let's do a couple of things here. So we need to make an entry in the inventory file so the inventory file is nothing but Ansible is going to manage 
all your target node using this inventory file okay so that is what the inventory file is but uh, since we are going to create a brand new ec2 instance what i'm going to do i'm going to execute the playbook on the ansible uh, machine itself where i have installed so i'm going to create a group called local host and then i'm adding the same machine right so that's what i'm calling that as a local once you make the change come out of that awesome and then let's go ahead and then create playbooks directory awesome so so this is where i'm going to uh, create an ansible playbook okay so let's go ahead and then create a playbook so playbooks are nothing but uh, your infrastructure as a code or configuration as a code um, so ansible uh, would need this playbook in order to uh, you know execute anything so i just created that playbook and then i'm going to copy the code okay so let me quickly explain you all of this thing right so if you see here yes this is just kind of a name okay and this is nothing but the group name so remember we created a group in the inventory file called localhost right so that is the group and then connection is local because yes we are going to execute uh, this playbook on the ansible machine itself so that's why you know you are making this as a local and then gather facts false so yeah, so we don't need to, uh, you know, collect any facts about the EC2 because it's a new EC2 instance, right? So I'm going to leave that as a false. And then this is just the tags. You can give any name, that doesn't matter. And then this is the place where, you know, you are declaring the variables, right? Where, you know, you are going to use that down the line. You see here, for example, we have declared a security group called My Jenkins Security Group. And then we are actually using that uh, security group name over here right and then same thing so we have declared a region as us east 2 and then we are using that region over here right so this is the place you know where you can declare uh, variables you can also create a, a separate uh, file to store uh, variables but this is going to be a you know simple uh, ansible playbook okay and then we need to update the keys over here so basically this is nothing but uh, you know whatever the easy to instance we are going to create we need to attach uh, uh, SSH key pair, right? So, so that is what you know we need to do. So, that's nothing but your POM file, okay? So, basically, I want to use. Let me see. Actually, I want to use the same key name which I'm using to connect with the Ansible master. So, I'm going to use this itself, so that you know whenever the EC2 instance is provisioned, this key will be attached, uh, you know, to that EC to the new EC2 instance, okay? So yeah, so you don't have to give the extension like dot form, just, you know, mention the key name. Okay, perfect. And then this image ID is nothing but, uh, let's say you want to provision Ubuntu EC2 instance, right? So let, let's find out how to get that, right? So click on launch instance. Let me maximize this. So let's say you want to provision Ubuntu 18.04. Then you can go ahead and then mention this AMA ID, right? So... Let me go back so you can make sure that you have that right okay so that is the aim id okay and then i want to make sure you know i want to create one let's say if you want to create two easy two instances then you can mention count equal to two here okay and then this is the region okay you can leave the region as it is and then this is the instance type t dot small so if, let's say you want to change from t dot small into t dot medium, then you can go ahead and then change it. Okay, perfect. And then these are the tasks, right? So if you see here, uh, let's see how many tasks we are creating. So this is task number one, which is nothing but this is going to create a, a security group. And then the second task is this is going to launch the EC2 instance. And then the third task is you know this is going to add tagging to your EC2 instance, right? So that's it. It's a very simple uh, playbook. Okay. So let's quickly go through these tasks, right? So basically the Ansible is going to uh, create EC2 instance, right? So it is going to use the EC2 module, okay? So everything in Ansible is defined as a module, okay? So uh, this, Ansible playbook is, this Ansible playbook is going to use EC2 module, okay? So using this EC2 module, we are going to create, uh, you know, EC2 instances, create the security group and whatnot, right? So 
if you see here so we are creating a security group and then the region so everything we have def defined in the top right as a variable so so you know these are the security firewall rules right so let's say that i want to create an ec2 instance for for installing uh, jenkins right so yes then you, you need to open port 8080 and whatnot right so so this is what it is okay and if you want to add more port numbers feel free to add that okay so that is the uh, security group firewall rules and then this is for launching the ec2 instance right so again this is using this is using ec2 module right so again this is using ec2 module okay and then these are the uh, variables we have declared in the top right like image uh, mid instance type security group and everything okay and then the third task is for adding a uh, tagging to the ec2 instance right so let's say I want to, uh, you know, tag it like this. Okay. So once, once I create the EC2 instance, I want to have this particular tagging, right? My target EC2 instance, right? So that's what it is. Okay. So that's it, right? So basically this is the Ansible playbook, which is going to create a security group. And then it is also going to create an EC2 instance and then attach that security group to that EC2 instance. And then finally add tagging to my EC2 instance, right? So this is pretty straightforward. Okay. Awesome. So let me come out of it. So I came out of it. Let me go back to my instruction. Okay. Perfect. All right. So this is the command which is going to execute the Ansible playbook. But before that, um, see, there, there are some warnings, right? You may get some warnings. You see, yes, so the, you, know, you may get this kind of a warning. So I want to avoid this kind of a warning. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then install this particular uh, packages okay so when you install this particular package this is going to eliminate these warnings okay i mean it is going to suppress these warnings okay you are not going to see those warnings okay um so so i have done that now let's quickly go ahead and then execute this playbook so that is the command okay let me clear the screen let's go ahead and then execute the playbook so as you can see here uh, it, it already executed the first task, which is nothing but the creating the security group. And now it is in the process of uh, executing the second task. Wow, fantastic. You see here, uh, so we got OK equal to three. It means that all the three tasks have been executed. And then, yeah, so don't worry about this yellow color. Uh, you know, sometimes people think that this is kind of an error or something like that. No, everything is good. As you can see here, we got OK equal to three. It means that all the three tasks have been executed. So how do I know that my EC2 instances were created? Let's go to AWS console, click on refresh. Wow, see here? So this is our Ansible management machine where we have installed Ansible, but look at here. So this is our target EC2 instance, which we just provisioned uh, by executing the playbook. Okay, so if you click on this EC2 instance, let me quickly click on connect. You see here, so this is the this is the key which we have attached to that EC2 instance, right? So so using this, you know, we should be able to connect to our EC2 instance, perfect. And then let's quickly verify, uh, you know, our security group and whatnot, right? So remember, this was the security group name. So click on it, and remember we opened up three different ports, right? Like 80, 22, and then 80, 80, right? So we are able to see all these uh, port numbers, right? So yeah, so that is our target EC2 instance, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you would create an EC2 instance using Ansible playbook. So a couple of things, right? So sometime, you know, if you don't attach this IAM role, you may get some kind of error. For example, let me quickly do one thing. Let me go ahead and then remove the IAM role. So let me remove the IAM role. So I'm making this as a no IAM role, save it. And then I'm going to say detach. I detached it. Now if I go back to my Ansible management machine, if I go back and execute the playbook, it is not going to work. Okay, see here? So it is immediately throwing the error, right? It is saying that no, uh, I mean, no credential error, right? It says that unable to locate credential. Why? Because it is not able to access uh, AWS cloud, right? So we have to go back and attach the IAM role. The other option is, you know, you, you can use access keys and secret keys, but with, you know, which I don't recommend because, you know, 
um, uh, you are you are going to expose your access keys and secret keys, right? You know, which I don't recommend uh, for security reasons. Okay. All right. So let's go back and then attach the IM role, right? So my Ansible. So this one. So now the role has been attached. Now if I go back and execute. So it is going to go ahead and then create an EC2 instance. Right? See here, we got OK over here. So it executed the first task. See here, we got OK equal to 3 and then our EC2 instances have been created. One more EC2 instances have been created. Wow, see here. So yeah, so that's it guys. You know, that's how you can create an EC2 instance using Ansible playbook. Thank you for watching this video.